Good morning from between Durango and Mazatlan. We are on the Devil's Backbone. Which is called the El Espinazo del Diablo. So that's how you say it in Spanish. I won't butcher it. I won't even try. So we are out here on the bikes, as you can see behind us. We are going to ride, and I'm going to film this and show you what this amazing road is like. It's pretty. That's a fun. Yeah, a lot of fun over here. <laughs> what, 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 what we're talking about. I love this thing. Well, here we go on the, I'm gonna mess this up, Esponenza del Diablo. See what a loaded down DR can do, huh? Or try. The nice thing is we're out here on a weekday, so there's almost nobody out here. Yep. But I also don't know the road like those guys do. <laughs> I think that's why they're letting me go first. So far, it's been fantastic, though, and the view is incredible. Everybody told me this was a must ride, and now I see why. Look at that view, holy smoke. Tail of the dragon, eat your heart out. You may have a lot of corners, but you don't have corners and views like that. And if you see me do anything illegal in this process, the normal disclaimer goes out somewhere in Mexico.
All right, so we just stopped here in El Palmito and had uh, some gorditas. They were really good. Nice little lunch stop. And so now we're gonna continue on this and then we're gonna get onto the actual toll road so we can check out the big bridge. There goes Caesar. He's cranking. These boys can ride motorcycles, let me tell you. Now you know, if you go to Mazatlan, rent a bike for a day that's not a Harley or a cruiser and come check this out, huh? Those compound corners like that where your braking zone is coming out of the other one reminds me a lot of Fossil in Oregon. That's a skill you learn riding those roads. It's great because it applies to things like this. You learn how to get through the corner and apply your brakes on and off depending on your lean angle as you come into the corner. Yeah, there's the Tropic de Cancer. Look at that. I have done it. I have ridden to the Tropic of Cancer. I wish I would have seen that sooner. I, I would have stopped. I might have to look. I might cross it again. If not, that's my only time that I cross it. There we go. So that's actually quite a cool achievement. For anybody who doesn't know, Portland, but just outside of Portland, not very far, is the 45th parallel. So I basically live at the 45th parallel. So I am actually, I believe, exactly halfway between the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Cancer. So when I went up to Alaska, I have basically now come as far south from my home as when I did that trip. So that is really, really cool. That's weird, man. I, um, we're used to tunnels with lights in them. There are no lights in this tunnel. <laughs> and it is long. They call it the tunnel of silence. Wow. How, well, how interesting, huh? You and I becoming home In a town we'll never know To a house we'll never own And any time I come in late You won't ever make that face our tomorrow's yesterday Yesterday